Welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you all for supporting us. And we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they happen. But if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so. My brothers and my sisters, please let us work together with our great leader, Mazen Namdekanu, IPOB, and Eastern Security Network. To make our Biafran dream a reality is say who say there is no God the person lies my brothers and my sisters God in heaven Chuko Kika Biyama, is fighting for Biafrans a trailer conveying foreign Fulani terrorists from Kanu to the south of Nigeria crashed and over 19 Fulani terrorists lost their lives. The accident happened along Kaduna Abuja Road based on a statement on Monday by an eyewitness. It said that the crash, which happened late on Sunday evening, involved a dive trailer and was caused by a combination of speed and exploding tires leading to loss of control which caused the trailer to veer into the bush a total of 53 people were involved in the accident my brothers and my sisters you can see that god is fighting for biafrans if not so those fulani foreign terrorists would have been shipped to biafran land and Odua land. That's what they are doing. They are shipping them in trailers. But God fought for Biafrans, and this one never made it. The Nigerian DSS abducted and kidnapped more than 15 Biafrans in a passenger bus traveling on the Abo Umulolo Road in Okigwe local government area, Imo State. The compromised Nigerian news media are claiming that they are Fulani headsmen, but they have forgotten that, you know, there are no more Fulani Janjaweed headsmen in the Southeast Biafra. There are no more. Because this was confirmed by Fulani Meyetiala, who said that they have moved all the Fulani terrorist headsmen out of Biafran land. They said it themselves. But the zoo compromised news media. They don't know what to report. They just reported that they are Fulani headsmen. They should go and cross-check with their masters. The Fulani Janjaweed that also rock, they will tell them. You know, the bus belongs to Emo Transport Company and it was forced to stop by the criminal Fulani Nigerian DSS who are based at Lokba Camp in Okiwe. The criminal terrorists, Nigerian DSS, then marched their victims into the Aronzi Diogo forest when the nigerian police command in Imo state was contacted the command spokesman bala elkana said he had no information yet about the kidnapped biafrans in the box traveling in okigwe area you know my brothers and my sisters the fulani janjaweed and you know they are up to something. They are kidnapping Biafrans. And they can never succeed. Onyeko Wenu yesterday told the Nigerian government to remove the terrorists in military uniforms that they have brought into Biafra land and that they should conduct referendum for Biafrans. She warned the Fulani Nigerian government to stop killing Biafrans. She also said that Biafrans have the right to speak, to ask for referendum, 
and she asked the Fulani Janjaweed to conduct the referendum for Biafrans. They should conduct it. They have no choice. The coalition of Northern Group, CNG, you know, urged the Nigerian government and the National Assembly to urgently invoke the doctrine of necessity to organize a Biafran referendum as a final step of Biafran freedom. My brothers and my sisters, the freedom is at the door. Today, BBC Yoruba exposed the late Buhari. You know, they exposed him. And this has shown that our leader, Martin Namdekano, has been right from the start. He has been right. He told Nigerians that Buhari has died since 2017. And today, while the late Buhari impostor was organizing a program at their papa port, you know, at the ceremony, the BBC wrote, we are here to witness the late Buhari you know, organizing another ceremony at the port in Lagos. So our leader, Mazin Namdekano, has been right all this while. He has been right. Sent unknown gunmen, visited Ojoto police station in Idemili South, local government area of Anambra State, and they sent one officer to judgment. The Afenifere Yoruba group blasted the marks masquerading as Buari for showing the Fulani's hatred of Igbos, you know, and that he takes delight in ridiculing Igbos by his own presidential utterances during his arranged interview on Arise TV. You know, the Afeni Ferris group, Yoruba group, said that his engagement was full of lies, inconsistency, contradiction, and utter disrespect for the ethnic nationalities, including their elected governors. Afeni Ferris also said that the late Buhari impostor is a pathetic, unschooled, in the fraudulent 1999 constitution which he claims to guide him in spite of its manifest flaws you know he's an impostor so he doesn't know, even know anything it is Gaba Shewu and the cabal the full and cabal in the presidency that are doing all this that are running all the shows that are killing Biafrans in the name of Buhari but one day, their end will come, and that day is closer. It's closer. It could be a day, it could be a week. In some couple of days, their days are numbered. Their days will come to an end. Mazin Namdekano described the late Buhari's impostors, a Rice TV arranged interview, as pathetic, even after the questions have been given to him. And Femi Adesino, their lab dog, wrote the answers and rehearsed it severally with the impostor. Yet, the interview was pathetic. Mazin Namdekano said that, as the earth is a dot within the galaxy, so will Biafra be, you know, a dot amongst the committee of nations. Because Biafra has come to stay, and there is nothing. The Janja weed can do about it. My brothers and my sisters, the late Buhari have been exposed by BBC. They exposed him today. He was exposed. He has been exposed. And Chuko Kikabiyama is fighting for Biafrans. And that is why a trailer conveying foreign Fulani terrorists from Kanu to southern Nigeria crashed along Abuja Kaduna Expressway and over 53 of the terrorists were involved in the accident. My brothers and my sisters, 
you can see how God is fighting for us. Because we are the children of light. We are the children of light. There is nothing the ginger weed can do to stop Biafran freedom. Nothing. The referendum is coming. It is coming and it's coming fast. Because the whole world have seen the lies of the Fulani Nigerian government. They have seen the lies. They saw the way they were lying during the arranged interview on Arise TV. All their engagement was full of lies. Full of lies. That's why you cannot believe or trust anything that comes from the Janjaweed Nigerian government. You can't. Or from their compromised news media. Sometimes they lie. Oh, we captured the native doctor that prepared charms for IPOB. They lie. They just pick one innocent person on the way. And they go and call their compromised news media to write story about it. So as to give them an audio victory. Because they are not doing anything. Today I saw a Photoshop uh, photograph. They, it was captioned that those who, the kidnappers, who kidnapped the uh, Greenfield University students have been arrested. When we checked the photo very well, we saw that it was in 2018, you know, photo that was photoshopped. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. Please watch out for the next and bye-bye for now.